Hey learners, this is your teacher Dr. Anam and today we are going to study about water balance problems. Water balance which in other words is also known as osmo regulation where the water word represents osmo. So osmo mean water and regulation mean how water is regulated. Water balance problem or osmo regulation is active regulation of water level in an organism. How much water should be present in the cell? How much water should be removed from the cell? This is what we called water balance. The problem comes when that water balance is disturbed. Water balance is different in animal and plant cells. In this video, we are going to study both cases. Let's study animal case first. Water balance problem in animal cell. We know that animal cell, they have cell membrane and they lack cell wall it means animal cells they have less protection towards the movement of water molecules here we have isotonic solution in the previous lesson i told you all about these tonicity and their terminologies so i will share the link in the i button you can check that out isotonic solutions they have the solute concentration which is similar inside the cell as well as outside the cell so in case of isotonic solution the movement of water molecule inside and the movement of water molecule outside is equal so the number of water molecules going inside is equal to the number of water molecules going outside so there is no effect on the overall appearance of the cell so in other words we can say in the isotonic solution the cell is present in its normal state but in case of hypotonic solution we know that in hypotonic solution the solute concentration outside the cell is very low but in case of cell the solute concentration is very high so what will happen the water molecule it will start moving inside the cell to maintain the water balance or solute concentration and as the water keeps on going inside the cell the cell will have so much water that it cannot resist it anymore and the cell it will rupture or burst. Now what happened that when water move inside the cell, it start putting pressure on the cell membrane. And as the pressure on the cell membrane keeps on, keeps on increasing, there comes a time when it cannot anymore bear that pressure so that cell membrane it will burst and all the content it will go outside the cell in case of hypertonic solution outside has high solute concentration while low water potential so what will happen that water molecules present inside the cell they will start moving outside to maintain the water potential and in a case as the water will start moving the cell it will start shrinking so in case of hypotonic solution we will have shrinked cell so in case of animal cell isotonic solution will provide you normal cell hypotonic solution will provide you ruptured cell hypertonic solution will provide you shrinked cell let's talk about water balance problems in plant cell the plant cell they have cell wall which provides an extra protection if a plant cell is placed in a hypotonic solution we know that hypotonic solution it has high water potential while low solute concentration the water will start moving from outside to the inside cell and it will start pushing pressure on the cell membrane but as there is another extra layer of cell wall present so the cell wall will prevent the bursting of plant cell but that cell is present in a turgid form in case of isotonic solution the movement of water molecule going in and going out is same so the plant cell is present in flaccid form in case of hypertonic solution because outside low water potential is present the water from inside it will start moving outside and as the water will move outside the water potential inside the cell will decrease which will cause the shrinkage of cell or in other word plasmolysis of the cell will takes place so that was all about the water balance problems which animal cells and plant cells they face